I was really inspired by Natasha's post about her body sex retreat. This is her sixth one. Six. She's, uh, she's done so good. She really is. She's one of our body sex leaders. And her post was about how she's had a hard time the last few years, and she's kind of on the other side of it, but she, you know, it titled it, you know, if you look for the light, you'll find the light. And I think we never talk about intention and our mindset as it relates to our sexuality, which is kind of our grounding as people and our self-esteem is grounded in how we feel about ourselves, how yes. much pleasure we experience. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's what we it's what we project out here. Who do I want to be? I think I want to be happy. I think I want to be selfful. Is that a good word? Selfful instead of selfish. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because that's what people say. You're selfish. Selfful. Very definitely. Yeah. That was like the time I was, um, I had a period where I actually said, I'm a celibate priestess. I love this chapter in your memoir. Love it. I just cut everyone out, everyone off. It's just like, and I just, I mean, it was a period of self reflection being with myself, doing only things with me. It was very, very interesting. Uh, now, I do it from time to time. I still do it from time to time where, where I'm just not available. I check out. And That's and, so hard as women. Now that I'm a mom, I realize that it's so hard to do. You can do it, well, but you, you have to work at it. When you have a kid. Well, you can. There are moments when you can. You know, and, and self-care mm -hmm. is important. But what's interesting is during this period... This is when you came up with a lot of your orgasm techniques that you use in yes. your practice and the yes. body sex yeah. group yeah. by going yeah. inward. Yeah, I did. I came up with the, what, what really worked, you know, and then and the whole thing about the idea of, of meditation and masturbation combined, that I could actually meditate while I masturbated and that I could have fantasies that were positive to create what I wanted in my life. And to manifest. And yeah. you did. I did. I what did, did you manifest? I mean, during that period. Oh, let me see. Well, the book. <laughs> 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 I manifested a lot. I even had a recent experience with every New Year's Eve, I have a resolution. Mm -hmm. And this past one, I thought, what do I want? Okay. You know how you have a mantra that you repeat and that, that it makes whatever it is that you want to accomplish. I said, this year, I'm perfect. Oh. I don't have to accomplish anything. I'm perfect. Well, when you're 88 years old and you've had a life like yours, <laughs> I think you I'm can perfect. get there. I'm perfect. So I don't, now I, I can, I can choose things that I want to do, but there's nothing pressing. Because I've got the memoir done, I've got all of my, uh, my ducks are all in a row over here, I've got my new computer. Um, the only thing left now is the memoir. No. The documentary. The documentary. Which we're working on, a documentary. And now we're working on it. So it's like all of my primary projects before I leave the planet. Oh, Betty, don't talk that way. I'm looking forward to dying. In, and I'm not rushing it. I mean, I'm not, but I shall embrace it as a wonderful trip. And that I feel like if we approached life in that way from abundance instead of fear, that, yeah, I'm in front of, like, I think of it all the time, like, sometimes I'm like, oh, if I could just put Grace in in daycare. But I'm like, no, this is a challenging time in life, and I want to experience it. I want to receive it. It's going to be hard. Me. I want to do it, and I want to get to the other side. And there'll be a day that I'm like, wow, I wish I could go back. And you know? do that again. And do it, yeah. And you're <laughs> saying that you're welcoming. It's all about our intention, yeah. our mindset, how we see things. It's going to be how we experience and we what we receive. Because you see all of these old people in terrible condition, and they're hanging on to this last little breath. For what? Let go. Go. Bye bye. Go away. Well, life, you know, can be depressing post-Trump. You feel, sometimes they be like, well, where can you go and what can you do? Just living every day. Well, 
Live every day. Yeah. Live every day. Live fully every day. Live fully. See the light. Choose the light. Choose pleasure. Choose happiness. It's a choice. It doesn't it just is. happen. It is a choice. I can choose to be fulfilled. I am so fulfilled. I love everything about my life right now. I love to be alone. I know this sounds like not very social. <laughs> when I'm with people, I'm with people. Well, don't you think that reflects on your life choices? Wanting to be alone. The people who, who are uncomfortably being alone are usually running away from themselves. You know, you're at peace. I am. Part of pushing yourself out there. And for women, it always comes down to sexuality because we're judged so harshly for it. And it, it, they try to repress us at every... But if you can live out loud and you can say, fuck you, and you can have independent orgasms and you can choose your sex partners and you can live outside of that fucking box and be liberated, yeah. you're comfortable being alone. You don't need a partner. You can want one. Well, I'm, <laughs> you know, kind of, I'm kind of past that. <laughs> well, and you I, have, went, I went through a phase where I thought I wanted to have a partner. And I mean, if it happened, it, I mean, I would embrace it. But I don't necessarily want it. I don't long for it. I'm not, oh, it's just, if I could just find the right guy now that would fit into this. I, none of that heterosexual stuff. And and it's and I don't want a woman either. I mean, I, well, but don't you want? I think what body sex affords sisterhood. There's I've something... got a whole slew. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, we're gearing up for a new round of workshops. Yeah. So we're about half filled. I'm going to put the dates up. So April twenty second and twenty third, May twentieth and twenty first, and June twenty fourth and twenty fifth will be in the circle. And there's something very oh. satisfying and fulfilling. That really is the only thing I'll miss when I leave the planet. Communing with women on that level and having that kind of connection without the petty jealousy and the None comparisons and just being in your skin. <sighs> I love body sex. I do. I love all of my girls, my daughters, my sisters. Oh, it's so wonderful. And you're doing a yeoman's job of organizing and getting these groups together. And you know, it's not work. It all happens, and I wonder sometimes, how do I do it with a toddler? And somehow it all comes together. And I think, you know, that's kind of validation for me that I've made the right choices. Because <laughs> it works. <laughs> it works. It works. It works. So here we are, going into another year. <laughs> Stay with us.